So we are working on a samurai tonight with something very cool. It's got a sniper on it. Now, we didn't set up the sniper. It had a few little issues with it, so we had to fix some of the wiring they had messed up. They didn't have a big enough alternator on it. it had a 50 amp, and it would lose its fuel prime because it would drain the battery as it run. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it, Matt? Yep, the fuel pump wasn't running anymore. <laughs> yeah, so you had to get out here and jump the fuel pump to get it to run, and, and then the battery charge, it was just a mess. TPS sensor, the throttle position sensor. Can you see it down in there? It's brand new. It was bad. It made the computer think when you got idle that you was at, like, what, 85%? Uh, 27, I think. 27? Okay, I was off a little. So we bought a new throttle position sensor installed it and it was bad too so this is a third throttle position sensor and hits good so just because you buy a new part don't mean it's good and what we're doing now is just trying to get this throttle bracket set up on this sniper better because they had it where you only could go to 47 percent wide open throttle and there's a piece here somewhere I was going to show you. I don't see it. But they had an odd bracket set up on it. So we're going to change that bracket set up with this. This is from AutoZone. We picked it up. With a discount, it was like 40 bucks. Give or take. Or something like that. And what have you got? I cut the cable. And put it on there. That way we can get rid of this funky little end here. Yep, and you know... By hooking it up here, you have more throw, more pull yeah. at a shorter angle. You would think tall angle, but shorter angle works just fine. Check it out. The G6 is running. It's coming in. You might not know. I picked this up as a parts car. And uh, Robert wouldn't let me part it out, would you, Robert? What? You wouldn't let me part this car out? No. No. And uh, turns out the only thing was the matter with this car was a fuse to the ECU that kept it from uh, priming the fuel. Was it the fuel pump or nothing like that? Not, not a key switch, just a fuse. So, always check your fuses in your car before you go throwing parts at it. It could be something simple. It's car set two years. And I picked it up for parts. Had a very good deal, and it's set because of a fuse. So get you a, a knowledgeable mechanic, if you don't know how, to check fuses. I need to make a video on that, don't I? Yeah. But this little car is a 3.5. It runs good. AC now. Yeah. A uh, man could have made a newer bracket if he wanted to. Yeah, it could use a little extension, but I mean, that right there will work. Looks good. And then you can see how we got it set up here. This little pull right here. Once we cut the cable. A lot left in the kit. Yeah. I mean, you could you could change the whole throttle cable, but this is a good throttle cable. And this is only three foot. Yeah. It won't work for what we needed. And we needed one. We needed a fix. And this had all the adapters we needed. Oh, you, you like the, the winch? Yeah. It's a cool little... Samurai, I tell you. Look at it. Better job wearing the winch than I did the rest of the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> Doors closed perfect. It's worth free. Very clean underneath. Look at this. This frame is spotless. Where'd this come from anyway, Matt? North Carolina? I think it was like Indiana. Indiana? But I thought you said it was a Texas vehicle. Texas vehicle? I'll tell you, you don't see them like this in this shape. Inside's pretty cool. Let's see if I can turn a light on for you guys. Check it out. It's got leather interior. And the seals, it actually I mean, seals you know, off really good. You when you, what and was it? From the inside it wasn't open all the way up. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't opening all the way up. It's like you give it gas and 
It only went to 47 percent, 40 yeah, something. 47, yeah. Which so. is probably like a solid 50. I don't know how accurate it really is. This looks terrifying on me, this hood. Hmm. What does it look terrifying for? Wires. Wires from the sniper? Because I had to split that loom open and fix a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it had a power drain. Uh, it had five amp, five amp drain on it. It yeah. killed battery overnight. What was causing the drain? Oh, uh, Nader. The way they had it hooked up. Yeah, the hot meter was energized all the time before. Yep. And that comes on with the key. Had to put a crank seal in it. Not cam seal. Cam seal, yeah. Yep. It was literally smaller than the hole in the head. Yeah, it wasn't the You light. could see daylight around the seal. Yeah, just, oh my goodness. Yeah, it was just pouring the oil straight on the ground. Poured it onto the timing belt? Yep. Yeah, I put a timing belt on it. It's there. got a new... Uh, timing belt and everything on it. Matt put that on it. New heater valve. Yeah, new hoses. Yeah. Remounted the fan. So I didn't like the way the fan was mounted. AC? Mm -mm. No. Yeah, it was had the little uh this fan here. Let me show everybody. Like, yeah, we didn't even add AC, but this is probably factory no AC, isn't it? <laughs> factory AC. Uh there's factory core. So you could hook up an AC if you want to. You could it. hook up AC. Uh right here. That's cool as crap. It had yeah. the little like the work little zip ties. You got a little zip tie looking thing. For the fan, electric fan. If you're a car person, you know what I'm talking about. They just fit through when the radiator and tighten up. Switch between like heat Build a bracket for yeah. it. Those is a very nice little setup, ain't they? Yeah. It's got the steering coupler like every other old vehicle has, don't it? Mm-hmm. Except this one's got electronic power steering, looks like. I don't know if it works. I haven't really messed with it now. It's got power steering some way or another. You can tell that. It's got electronic steering. Hmm. Electronic steering. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah. Yeah, it does got electronic steering. This thing just gets cooler, don't that's it? That's actually uh pretty simple. That's for the that's like an electronic power like a pump. Electronic power steel pump built onto a, a steel knuckle type thing. Is it? Yeah, from the I don't know what style. It's got a built-in pump. I don't see any fluid. It might not be. It might just have a rubber coupler to see it. I know they have something like that on the Sonatas and stuff. Do they? I say that's a kit somebody bought put on it. You want to press the gas, Robert? Press the gas? Yeah. Turn the key on? I don't have to turn the key on. Here. No, you just have to press the gas, he said. All the way? Just hold it? That's all the way. It looks pretty good to me. Yeah. It might it's get a little bit better, but... That looks good to me. How does this inside? Give it gas. Open it up again. Oh yeah, wide open. Finally got a pull to it. Yeah. Always make sure there's some flack in your cable. Isn't that right, Matt? Yeah. Don't that... want it binding and keeping your throttle open. <laughs> well, that's got it set up now. The sniper still ain't figured out what it wants to be yet, has it? Mm -mm. You know what I just dropped? Mm -mm. I know you probably ain't worried about it. This is the end of that throttle cable. Oh. The end of the, you dropped the end of the throttle cable? Ow! Ow! Kneecap. Got hit by the... What did you do? I, did you uh, do it too, Matt? Not yet. Uh -oh. I sure I will because I laughed at you. Oh! I ain't got the key. I was going to show the sniper. I guess. I was going to reach for it, never mind. <laughs> I'm glad I did. Don't try to start it. Make your name good. Oh, now. You mean the neutral safety don't work in this for the standard? Probably not. Neutral. The only thing I don't like is not an intake pump. It's got a pump that's on the body. Right up. Almost. It's the sniper. He ain't figured out what it wants to be yet. You have to crank it a little bit longer. You can see a cunt. Uh, 
how it goes. It'll figure itself out. You hear that pump? figure itself out you need to uh, test drive it you feel a little bit of a chatter it does that when it gets warm you know hopefully that goes away that's probably a main knock if I would guess wasn't you Matt what do you think yeah probably the mains knocking in it the gas is in oil so it's making it thin we'll give it an oil change as I said before we got to get the sniper let it figure itself out all in all it should be a good little winter time uh, samurai and uh, man can get these motors pretty cheap and put one up and we build it for it and just have it ready to go in that's what i would do but thanks for watching subscribe check the ebay store out see you